You are Chappy. Chappy. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to The Safe State. My name's Seth Duncan, and we just got out of Chappie. So we're gonna take a few minutes and we're gonna talk about it. Um, just a little bit of background. It's the new movie from Neil Blomkamp, who's notable for District 9 and Elysium and the upcoming Aliens remake. Uh, so Chappie got dropped this week uh, right after that announcement. We all thought we'd come and see it and say our thoughts. So uh, let's go right out of the gate. Let's start with uh, Derek. What did, what did you think? Uh, I did not enjoy this movie. Okay, why is that? I just, <laughs> well, there's a lot in that answer. Uh, I feel like it was a giant uh, Diane Wood music video. Uh, they were the main actors in this movie. Uh, I expected Hugh Jackman to play a much bigger role, but he played a semi-big role, and it was a really stupid role, in my opinion. Um, so yeah, uh, over 50% of the movie was them acting like gangsters and playing their music in the background and teaching this robot to be a gangster. Um, the, movie felt, ugh, the movie felt a lot like District 9. Yeah. Throughout the entire thing. Yeah. Um, well, same setting. Yeah. Same city. You know, same city. Literally. And yeah. they literally use the same city, so yeah, that makes sense. I, yeah, it wasn't for me. I mean, what did you guys sure. think? Right? Yeah, um, sure, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of in the middle. There, there's half of me that really wants to like this movie, not just because it's Neil Blomkamp, but the whole concept of, of Asimov and, and robot sentience and AI is a very cool concept. I think it's, it's really uh, philosophical, and I really think that Blomkamp I, I think he tried to play, play his hand in too many places with uh, Definitely. with going uh, accessible. I don't know what he was going for with the the kind of the gangster character thing. It definitely wasn't what I expected. Mm -hmm. There were definitely a lot of aspects that I enjoyed about the movie. I felt that Chappie's progression uh, mentally and his understanding of life was was kind of cool. I felt like it was a little rushed at the end, but I still felt like it was. It was a good, very rushed at the end. Felt like it was a. I still feel like it was a good progression. Um, I think we've seen it done better in some movies, but um, also felt like Sigourney Weaver's character was a little bit rushed. It was kind of she was kind of pigeonholed. There wasn't a lot of development there. Yeah, kind of tight cast in her <laughs> I, normal. They, they tried a, to. I think, a, I think Hugh Jackman's character is even more guilty of that though. Yeah, yeah that's true. I can see that's that. True. Angry. I feel Australian. like you could, yeah. you could back, or you could explain Hugh Jackman's character in like two sentences. Yeah, yeah, yeah. super bitter. Yeah, angry at the guy that invented the robots. Angry old vet. Yeah, angry but, old uh, vet. Yeah. I felt I really enjoyed Dion's character, the the guy who created yeah. the, the artificial creator, yeah. intelligence. I felt like his relationship with Chappie was was great, but I, I wish there could have been more relationship like between all 15 minutes between, of it. Yeah, between <laughs> the maker and Chappie yeah. than focus on the relationship on yeah. mommy and daddy. I can yeah. see that. Gangster. But yeah. Seth? Uh, so I super liked the movie, um, and I know these guys may shun me for that. Uh, I, am no, not, no, no. I am not making excuses. There were some things in it that were a little bit goofy. Um, to me, I'm chalking some of that up to it just being a completely different culture than I'm used to or even actually even know anything about. I know almost nothing about Johannesburg, South Africa, and, and the people that live there and, and all of that. Um, in fact, most of what I know is from this movie in District 9. Yeah. Um, but uh, I don't I don't know if this is like the parent in me coming out or not. But like there were certain bits of it that were super emotional. Uh, Ooh, definitely a feels yeah. trip. Uh, there was about a good like 30 to 45 minutes of that movie where you just felt awful yeah. about everything. Yeah. yeah. And yeah, exactly. And so um, I think it pulled that stuff off really well. Um, I am totally a sucker for that, though. I'm the guy that sits there and, and balls at, at uh, Doctor Who movies anyway or uh, episodes anyway. So um, I think I had the complete opposite effect. That yeah. that portion of the movie where is it's bad it's really yeah. bad there for a little bit i actually got frustrated at the movie because of really? that because i felt like i, I it was wanted, a little heavy it was heavy -handed. really yeah. heavy yeah. Yeah. I, was, I had kind of more aligned with you on set i aligned with you on the on the things that were really bad and i aligned with you on the things that were really <laughs> good so would would we send people to go see this movie i i would um with caution uh i feel like it's the sort of thing that most people um aren't gonna aren't gonna enjoy i don't feel like i would recommend my wife to see it um probably not my mom uh, like my buddy Josh, shout out. I'd probably recommend that you you see it. I think you dig it. Um, that's my recommendation. What do you guys think? Uh, I'm usually not the pessimist of the group, but I have a hard time recommending to Redbox this movie. <laughs> I feel like when this movie comes out, there's going to be so many other options to watch. I mean, sure. if you want to watch something about robots and artificial intelligence and you really like District 9, then I guess this is kind of, if you're a, if you're a Die Antwood fan, this movie <laughs> yes. is for you. I cannot uh, advocate it enough. I did, I'm going to interject just real fast before we get sure. here. I, I do think that that was the weak link, yeah. for sure. Yeah. Um, they were poor choice in casting. I yeah, I, I don't know why they did that. I, I, the acting wasn't awesome. 
Um, I, I actually kind of felt like Hugh Jackman was just kind of pissed off about the role I, through the whole I movie. Really, <laughs> whatever they paid him, they didn't <laughs> like, pay him enough because yeah, he yeah. got. I mean, yeah. he made I, the Wolverine I thought face Mickey a was times. wasting his yeah. talent by doing Wolverine over and over again. Yeah. No, this was a waste, honestly. I, okay, so would you uh, recommend it? I, yes and no. I, I think if you're a Neil Blomkamp fan, go see it. I think if you are wanting to watch a movie about artificial intelligence and are interested in that kind of thing philosophically, and watch, and watch or, robot. but if you're if you're going Man, to I watch a, a sci-fi movie, that's it's it. probably <laughs> not going to be your cup of tea. Um, I think just read about it, listen about it, maybe take a chance on it. I came into it really, I didn't watch any of the trailers, I didn't read any of the reviews, so I was very, trying to be very tabula rasa blank slate about it. Right. Um, I, yeah, really, you know, just like Chappie, make your own choice to go see this movie. <laughs> well, well said. Thank you. Well, guys, uh, like I said, go see the movie or don't go see the movie based on which one of us you want to listen to. Uh, our, you know, you've got our opinions. We appreciate you listening to us. And uh, let us know what you think if you've seen it. And uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks a lot.